Okay, so let's have this topic. So the application of the normal distribution. So using this formula, the z-score formula, so we have the standard score, observe value, the sample mean, and the sample standard deviation. So we have this problem, so scores on statistics exam are normally distributed with mean of 65 and standard deviation of 7. Then what is the probability that a randomly selected student will score above 60? So in the problem, so we have the mean, that's 65, then the standard deviation, that's 7, then to solve for the uh, standard score, that's z equals x minus the mean over the standard deviation. Now this 60 is the uh, observed value, so we need to convert this 60 in a standard score. So using this formula, so we have now x, x is 60. Then minus the mean, that's 65. Then divide by the standard deviation, that's 7. So to solve now for uh, z, so we have 60. Then minus 65. So don't forget to press equal sign before dividing by 7. So z now is negative 0.71. So this negative 0.71 is the standard score if the observed value is 60. Then to solve for the probability, now since uh, we're looking for the score above 60, so therefore this z is greater than negative 0.71. So for z greater than, above, or more than, or this one is to the right. Then for z, this one is less than or below, and this one is to the left. Now since uh, above 60, so therefore z is greater than. Then to solve for the area, so using this normal curve, so let's assume that this is a negative 0.71. Then in a table, so the z table, so to get the area of this negative 0.71, so just drop this negative. So this one is 0.7 then 0 0.01, so that's 0 0.71, then you connect, so the area now of this 0 0.71, that's 0 0.2611. Now, since this area, so from the mean to this uh, area, this one is negative 0 0.71, so therefore this 0 0.2611 belongs to this area. Now, since greater than, so if greater than, above, or more than, to the right. So this area now is the unknown. Then since uh, half of the curve, the area is 0.5. So to get now the total area, so we have this 0.5 plus this 0.2611. So the probability now of selecting a score above 60 is 0.7611. This is the probability. Then for this problem, so what is the probability that a randomly selected student will score between 61 and 82? So we need to convert this 61 and 82 first in a standard score. So if x is 61, so we have this 61 minus 65 divided by 7. So to solve now for z, so we have 61 minus 65 then equals, then divide by 7, that's negative 0.57. So z is negative 0.57 if x is 61. Then if x is 82, so we have this 82 minus 65. Divide by 7, so z now, we have 82 minus 6, 5 equals, then divide by 7, that's 2.43. So z is 2.43. Then to solve for the probability, so this negative 0.57, that's for 61, and this 2.43, that's for uh, 82. Since we're looking for the score between, so therefore, 
z is greater than negative 0.57 but less than 2.43. So to get now the area, so in a curve, so let's assume this one is negative uh, 0.57. This one is 2.43. So to solve now for the area of this negative 0.57, so negative uh, 0.5. This one is 0.5, then 0 0.07, that's uh, 0.57, so you connect. So the area now is 0.2157. Then the area of this uh, 2.43, so 2.4, then 0 0.3, that's 2.43, then you connect. So the area now is 0 0.49. Now, since this area from the mean to this area, which is negative 0.57, so therefore, this 0.2157 belongs to this area. Then from the mean to this area, which is at 2.43, so therefore, this 0.4925 belongs to this area. Now, since we're looking for the area between, so therefore, between, this area is the unknown. Between negative 0.57 and 2.43. So, to solve now for the total area, so the area of 0.57, that's 0 0.2157 plus this 0 0.4925. So to solve now for the probability, it's 0.7082. So this is the probability in selecting a score between 61 and 82. That's 0.7082. Then for this problem, so what percent of the scores uh, below 55? So again, we need to convert this 55 in a standard score. So this is X. So Z now, that's 55 minus 65, that's the mean, over the standard division, the 7. So Z now, we have 55 five minus 65, then equals, then divide by 7. So Z is negative 1.43. So this is uh, your standard scores. Then to solve for the area, now since uh, below, so therefore, Z is less than negative 1.43. So in a normal curve, so let's assume this one is negative 1.43. Then to solve for the area, so just ignore the negative. So 1.4, then 0 0.03, that's 1.43. Then you connect. So the area now is 0.4236. Now, since uh, this is the mean, and this is negative 1.43, so therefore this 0 0.4236 belongs to this area. Now, since below, or less than, so therefore to the left, so this area is the unknown. So to the left, if below or less than. Now, to solve for this area, since half of the curve, the area is 0.5. So to solve for this area, so we have this 0.5 minus this area, that's 0.4236. So the area now is 0 0.0764. Since we're looking for what percent, so to convert this one in percentage, so just move two places to the right. So we have 7.64% of the scores below 55. Then what percent of the scores between 75 and 80? So we need to convert the 75 and 80 in a standard score. So if x is 75, so we have this uh, 75 minus the mean, that's 65, then divide by 7. So to solve for z, we have uh, 75 minus 65 equals, then divide by 7, that's 1.43. So Z is 
Then if x equals 80, so z, that's uh, 80 minus 65 divided by 7. So to solve for z, so 80 minus 65, then equals, then divide by 7. So we have 2.14. So z, that's 2.14. So these are the standard score. So if x is 75, we have 1.43. If x is 80, we have 2.14. Then to solve for the area, so this one is 75, this one is 80. Now since between, so uh, z is greater than 1.43 but less than 2.14. Then in a normal curve, so let's assume this one is positive 1.43 and also this 2.14. So to solve for the area of this uh, 1.43, so we have this 1.4, then 0.03. Uh, connect so the area is 0.4236 then the area of this 2.14 so 2.1 and this 0.04 then you connect so the area of this 2.14 that's 0.4838 now since from the mean to this area that's 1.43 so therefore this point 0.4236 belongs to this area. Then from the mean to this area, that's 2.14. So therefore, this point 0.4838 belongs to this area. Since we're looking for the area between, so between this 1.43 and 2.14, so this area is the unknown. That's between 75 and 80. So to solve for this area, so we have this uh, 0.4838, then minus this area, that's 0.4236, so the area now is 0 0.0602. But since we're looking for what percent, to, so to convert this one in a percentage form, so uh, move two places to the right. So we have now 6.02% of the scores between 75 and 80.